Hello folks, so I'm using my Celestron Rasta to capture an object I always wanted to capture. It's actually three objects in one. Now I captured them all individually before, but I never captured them in the same picture. And because these objects kind of go edge to edge, I did have to rotate my camera a little bit to make them fit. And this is my Explorer Scientific Telescope, but I didn't finish what I was working on with this one because my sequence aborted after one hour and I lost a whole night of imaging. Okay, and this is what I captured. This is the final picture. I used over four hours of the HA filter, over four hours of sulfur, and over three hours of oxygen. I would have captured more oxygen, but I would have had to gone another night, and I had already spent three nights capturing this. And there's a lot going on in this picture, and I rotated the camera perfectly. I've got the lobster claw over here, I've got the bubble nebula over here, and I've got the northern lagoon nebula over here, and everything just fit perfect. I cropped very little off of this picture. And I was really surprised. I didn't really have to adjust the brightness. For, I, for example, I, I thought the lobster claw was going to be a lot more faint than the bubble nebula, but I didn't have to adjust the brightness on any one of these objects. So they're all, um, uh, this is the brightness as they appear relative to each other. So this is, this is pretty accurate in terms of brightness. I did darken the background a little bit to make these objects pop out a little bit more though. And let me show you something here. This is how it looked when I first combined all three filters. And I thought, uh-oh, I mean, the star field was really thick in this picture. And I thought, I mean, if, if the goal is that you want to see the nebulae, you're going to have to do something to get rid of these stars. And so I did shrink them down to, to come up with that. And so you can see uh, what the stars originally looked like and how they kind of hide the nebulae. And that's how that looked. Um, and one more thing is what really surprised me about this picture is um, this is still the original combined after I removed all the stars. And I was really surprised at the, the variation in color. I Right off the bat from my combine, I'm seeing uh, yellow and gold. I'm seeing blue and, of course, green. Um, there's a lot of variation in color. Sometimes you just get complete green when you first do a combine and you're trying the Hubble palette. But this one was actually rather easy to process when you get a variation of color. And uh, so what else did I want to say? And a lot of people ask me, um, what is my color mix when I, when I do my combine? And I just do a straight combine. I put 100% sulfur in red, 100% HA, in green and 100% oxygen in blue and I use HA as my luminance channel and that's it and, and it produced this. Oh and I, I wanted to show you one more thing because a lot of people ask me what surveillance camera I use and this is the live feed I have right now. My Both of my scopes are, are covered up and the camera I use is the Amazon Cloud Cam and they don't even make them anymore which is really disappointing. And, um, sorry, I'm still stuffed up and I, I know I sound a little funny, uh, these allergies, this is just a terrible allergy season. And Amazon also has this newer camera, but which looks like it could do the same thing, but it only gives you 30 seconds of continuous live viewing. And then you have to hit a continue button to keep it going. Whereas... Um, this camera just can go 24 hours so I can show it on my Echo device all day long. And you never have to sort of, you don't have to keep hitting a button to keep it going. So that's kind of disappointing that they would do that. And now Amazon has these new ring cameras. And even these cameras only go 10 minutes before you have to refresh them and keep them going. I, I don't know why they don't give you that live continuous feed anymore. So I'm glad I have the, the, the cameras I have now, but if they ever break down, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. So anyway, that's all I got, folks, and uh, I'll see you later.